Your show is here tomorrow, right? Yeah. Cool. This is, is this your first show in Houston or not? Uh, I think so, yeah, first show in Houston. That's hilarious. In 97.9 of Vox, Young Jazz with the Jews. Very special guest in the studio with me too, Child. How's it going? You're in Houston for, we don't know if it's the first time, right? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> it, it might be the second time. This might be the second time. But definitely not the last time. How's the tour been so far? It's been really good. It's nice to, you know, create the, all this music in a vacuum and then you come out and see how it affects people. It's, yeah, and how the real. fans react to it. Yeah. So first we got to start with like your name. So how did you choose your name and are the three eyes like significant? Do they mean something, each one? Um, you know, it's one of those things that you kind of put on the board. It's like, it, it has like one meaning and then the longer mm -hmm. that you live with it, it takes on different meanings. You know, the three eyes represents like the three individuals that, you know, you, it could be like my body, spirit, it could be you, your friends and the people. It could mm -hmm. be, you know, it, like I said, it, it evolves over time. And the child is like the, the thing that, uh, is the source of all things creative. Mm -hmm. So it just made sense. So when did you choose your name? Did you uh, choose it or something like your friends help you or like how did it, it come? You know what? It, I was I was just in the studio and it just like came up through conversation. It was like, oh, this this has like this childish uh, energy about mm -hmm. it. You know, it feels like free. So when did you start making music? Um, well, I studied music, you know, from from when I was a kid. So mm -hmm. I, I studied like classical music. So I came up a lot in it, and and that was like you know part of my DNA. But mm -hmm. in terms of like making music and singing and stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, 2019, 2020, like I I was completely against singing my, Why? myself just because like i always felt like you know I, I just wanted to live in the thing that i felt like i was the best at and that was always like making music and supporting other people in their music and mm -hmm. then i was like you know what uh i gotta get my message out i gotta find my voice in order to get this thing going and, and then the crowd came out and people started to care mm -hmm. yeah. so when do you feel like you started to find your voice like what what made you find your voice in you said 2019 2019 yeah, yeah i mean it's because it doesn't sound like a lot of other voices, I feel like it's a lot easier to, to, to feel like that you belong when you sound like the next thing or adjacent or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like 2020, 2019, I started putting stuff out and it was just like, uh, it was always so like affected and, and trying to like, you know, produce your way into a voice and then you have to take that on tour and then you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> Um, and then so the you know the record started to evolve from there and, and now I feel like you know what I wake up in the morning and I'm like yeah you sing mm -hmm. like I've, I've kind of accepted it but that's like very Ooh, new. So when did you first start performing? Um, 2019 you know like uh, at the end of 2019. Before the pandemic you got to? Yeah it was like one one quick tour you know I accepted uh, to open for Emotional Oranges and mm -hmm. I had never really like sang on stage like that. Mm -hmm. definitely have like a really immersive show on on the road it's like the lights everything we just really put a lot into it you know what i mean so it, you'll you definitely won't see another show at this level Ooh. that looks like and Pop your shit, like okay. yeah for sure <laughs> i mean you know you know when something's good yeah um you said we're talking about instruments and stuff and you mm -hmm. growing up doing music what yeah. instruments do you play so, so I, I grew up, yeah, piano, mm -hmm. piano is what I studied, but I couldn't find my way around anything that you don't have to blow into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Do you play anything on stage? Oh like uh, yeah, I got, I have two synths that I play, yeah, and so there's like a, there's a really nice quiet moment in the set where like okay. it just, it's just, you know, vocal and the keys and I'm, I brought like these two synths that really speak to me mm -hmm. and it's just like really serene, it's tight. That's dope. Yeah. I love your hair too, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uncle Chico's like, you gotta ask him about the perfect hair. The hair is amazing. I it's a look. It. How Thank long you. have you had your hair like that for? Um, you know, uh, I I started growing it in about like 2019 as well. Whoa! And so then, 2019 was a major year. Yeah, it was. It you was came into like, the voice, the hair, everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> now we gotta talk about your latest project. What was the inspiration behind that too? It was just about making, you know, uh, a mashup of like indie R&B, just like really tapping into the music that I would listen to going in and out of school, and just like. Just trying to, yeah, create like this mashup that really represented, you know, what I wanted in the world. I like that. Who did you listen to like when you were growing up and stuff in school? So it was kind of interesting. So I had different groups of friends. So I had like <laughs> the <laughs> growing up in Canada, I had like my skater friends that would listen to like, you know, Linkin Park and all these like different yeah. alternative uh, incubus and all these things. And they would kind of like laugh about R&B. And then I had like my other friends <laughs> that like I would hoop with or play volleyball with, whatever. And we'd like obsess over like. Brian Michael Cox production, and, wow. you know, the underdogs and break down the bridges, and it's almost like this, this like weird uh, cross section between. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, in, in between these two worlds, and uh, yeah, I just that's that was my experience. No, I feel like you combine it with, with your own music. Mm -hmm. Do you like produce and do your own stuff like that? Too? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Like a, a lot of what? the songs, most of the songs start just like in a room, just 
make kind of making a mess of a production just like you know, you know what the chords are you know what the mm-hmm. kind of the sounds are and um you just kind of like word vomit and, and find your way around it and then you know you start sharing and i send it to pierre and then we just kind of bounce around and mm-hmm. make sense of it all wow yeah. that's awesome <laughs> and um to also let everybody know where they can find you like on social media instagram yeah no nah, but so you can find uh you just type in child ch triple ild and that should cover pretty much all the platforms whether it be D- dsps or uh social media awesome and thank you again so much for coming up. anything you want to add to before we finish um well come out to the show if you're around i'm honestly uh i think you will definitely you know it, there's nothing like the first time and i really would love to to, to share that with everybody mm-hmm. sure. nothing like the first time child for the first time right here on 97.9 the Vox. Don't, don't give up, cause I'm